good fish too. Yeah. Hello. Oh yeah. Come in here, baby. Mm -hmm. Nice way to start the day. Nice black crappy. We just uh, we're in the backwaters <clears throat> here. Uh, just getting started today. My dog's growling. Did he you sees see something a gator don't or something? Like. He's either growling because he saw a gator or growling because he had four Bojangles sandwiches this morning. That's an all-time record for Charlie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting started today. I, today I'm using, doing something a little different today. Normally you see me casting these fish, but uh, you know, and I may do some of that today, but I'm just using my 13 foot jigging rod and just gonna drop a jig right down on top of them. You know, I, I actually thought some of these fish may be up close to the bank so I could just kind of dip around the bushes around the bank, but that fish there was actually suspended out in nine foot of water. So uh, we're gonna stick with it, see if we can put a few more in the boat. Hopefully uh, show you guys a little bit about how to catch these suspended fish in these dead lakes. It's not the same. There he is. That's not the same fish. Nope. His cousin. Yep. Actually, he's pretty good too. That's a nice fish too. Yeah. A nice fish. There he is. He was fighting like another good one. That is a nice fish, man. They are long. Get your line out. Tough too. Come up here, baby. Yeah, he's actually a pretty good fish. That's a pretty nice fish. So tell you guys what we're doing today. If I can get him unhooked. Really nice fish. We're, at, we're on the Altamaha River today, down in South Georgia, and uh, Southeast Georgia. We're, we're really close to uh, Brunswick, between Ludowice and Brunswick. And we're up in these dead lakes, just targeting uh, pre-spawn uh, fish. And, and what we found this morning is the fish are just suspended out in the middle of the dead lakes. Uh, we're in about nine foot of water. Uh, every once in a while, we're not seeing a whole lot of fish, but the ones we do see are really active and are really aggressive and will bite. So, uh, you know, we're just, we're, I'm dropping a jig down on them with my long rod, my 13 foot uh, X13 Jenko, and uh, they're hammering it. Boy, he was a chaser. What chaser? Little guy. Just a little old black crappy. Though. Yeah. Oh, that's a better fish. It is. Better. Well, better than the last one. Yeah, it is. He's raking them in over here. It's a little female. He's gone. Is it a bass? I think it's a bass. No, that's a crappy. No, it's a bass. Huh? It is a bass. It's a bass. Did you see the one chasing it? Yeah. It's like two or three times that size. Was it? Yeah. He must oh, be bass. Real, he must be real hungry. That's a better fish. I'm gonna come to this side. Oh yeah. Guys, I ain't gonna lie to you. It has been tough on Scott today. We uh. We've been at the Altamaha River, hit a slough earlier today, and uh, caught three nice fish pretty quick. And uh, the current, the river was rising, the current got pretty rough where we were at, so we made a move, came to this uh, other little lake, and all we're catching small fish. And that was a nicer fish there that you saw, but it's been pretty tough on us today. But we're grinding it out, gonna see what we can do. Where'd they go? I don't know, but that's gonna be liquefied, it's sitting in the hot weather. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Just like that. First time after reef. That's a good fish too. Better fish. It is a better fish. <laughs> Guys, I probably dropped on that school, I don't know, 10 times. Could not get bit. They would chase it, chase it, chase it. You saw me reapply that fire gel. Dropped in there, first drop, like four of them came at it, got that one. 
Today's episode of Ponsky Outdoors comes to you on the heels of a week long of epic filming of crappie here in Georgia, South Carolina. This general region today did not go as planned. It was not the epic day we hoped for, which is part of life. I had challenged Scott, let's go to the Alta Maha River and let's try it out. He said, well, I haven't been there since my daddy took me when I was a little kid. Guess what? That was like uh, 35 years ago. And being that long ago, this was a new experience for Scott. You know, him and I both got there, and sure enough, I drove down from Savannah. We get there, and the water was super high. High and muddy like it always is. This time it was so high that even in the backwaters, even in the you know, lakes that come off the main river, even in the sloughs, there was massive current. And Scott said, this is not good for crappie fishing. So we stayed there about an hour, went around, caught a couple really, really nice crappie, and then we picked up, and one of the guys said, you guys should go over to Morgan Lake hunting and fishing. There's a whole bunch of lakes. You guys can fish right there. Have fun. Get out there and enjoy it. We did. We paid our $10 to park the rental car, $10 to put Scott's boat in there. And you know what? We went around the lake for about two hours. We caught about a dozen fish, no monsters, but everything came on Scott's normal jig like you see every time, his normal canine line, you know, and... This time we didn't even use crappie fireballs. We just focused on fire gel because Scott was so focused on his live scope to find crappie that we didn't even have time to do that. There just wasn't that many around. Sure enough, a dozen fish in two hours was good enough for me. Scott sure went home disappointed, but don't worry. We're gonna come back one day and continue to explore this area because boy, these little ponds are sure are a fun place. And from the locals and the guys in the shop we talked to, they get pounded by folks from Charleston, Savannah, Jacksonville, Macon, all over the place. You too can come up here, you can fish from the bank, you can bring a big boat like Scott did, or you can bring a car top boat and have a chance at catching some nice fish. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.